Hey there and welcome back to the third episode of the Scanlation 101 series. In this video, we will take a look at some advanced tools which are really helpful to clean certain elements in your comic panels. I'll be showing you four examples, from easy to hard. So let's dive right into it. Let's take a look at our first example. Here, we want to clean these texts. For this we will be using the content aware fill method. Make sure you are on the image layer or not any other empty layer. Use either the pen tool or the lasso selection tool and select the text as close as possible. You don't need to be too precise. Now go to edit and select content aware fill. This method works really well if you want to clean text that has distorted or patterned background. Let's do the same for the other one as well. Again make sure you are in the image layer. For the second example, we will use the same method as before. Although it's not perfect as the previous one, but the text is almost completely cleaned. You can try checking the mirror option here, but I think I will leave it as it is and clean it with the brush. Now let's move on to a different tool this time. I'll be using the clone stamp tool to draw this area. For this to work make sure you're in the image layer. Press Alt to sample the nearby image and draw over the area that you want to fill. You can try changing the opacity as well. You can also merge these layers by selecting them and pressing Ctrl plus E. Play around with the other settings to get familiar with it. Use the blur tool to blur out the sharp areas. Make sure it blends well with the original image. Alright, this looks fine to me. Now for the other areas, I'll use the basic method that we did in the previous video.
Okay, so for the third example, we will use this panel. Here, we don't need to clean everything. Just the text will do the job. I'll leave this punctuation mark here. Make a new layer and using the box selection tool, select the text area and fill it with the same color as the background. Then merge these two layers. Here, you can use the brush to draw over it, but it will take a long time to make it look perfect. However, I have an easy trick to make it indistinguishable. I'll use the pen tool and make a selection perpendicular to these speed lines. Then copy and paste this in a new layer and rotate it 0 degree. Do it exactly just as I did here. Now holding shift drag the image in the negative Y axis. Now select the layer and rotate it to match with the angle of the speed lines. Take your time and make it look indistinguishable. We will use this method a couple more times and cover the whole text area. Now merge all these layers and erase the unwanted areas. Try using the soft eraser to blend it perfectly with the background. Now using the brush, make small adjustments wherever necessary. Okay so time for our fourth and final example. Time for some really messy work. This might look overwhelming at first, but trust me, it's really not that hard. Here's a piece of advice. 
Sometimes it's much easier to redraw from scratch than to draw over bit by bit. Let me show you what I mean. First make a new layer and with the pen tool carefully select the text. Using the brush tool draw the whole selected area, same as the background. Make sure use a large soft brush, for that gradient effect. Now time, to draw those vertical lines. Select a hard brush, and lower the opacity a bit. Draw from top to bottom, while holding shift, to make straight strokes. Change the brush, size where necessary. Now create a new layer, over the Stokes layer, and make it a clip to the layer below. Hover the mouse below the layer, while holding Alt, and left click, when the cursor changes. Now using a large soft brush draw over the bottom of those lines, to give a fading effect. For those color splash effect, you can draw in a new layer, and lower the opacity. Finally, use the brush tool, to draw those small details.
Alright time to end the video. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. Next episode, we will be looking at fonts and some other related stuffs. Till then see you in the next episode.